everybody, Legend for Life here, bringing you guys a brand new archetype analysis. This time around, we are talking about one of the two of the newest TCG exclusive archetypes, and that is, of course, Spiral. So, Spiral and uh, also, like, Subterror, they're really interesting archetypes, and really, there's a lot of debate on which deck is better. Uh, I'm going to kind of, like, give my personal opinion on that uh, in regards to this, <laughs> uh, probably later on. But, uh, really, in all honesty, I like both decks. Uh, spirals have this really intriguing play style with them where they like to try and figure out like what's on the top card of your opponent's deck and stuff and they have a lot of utility to them they have a lot of versatility as where i should say uh the biggest issue with them is that a few of their cards are not named spiral and those cards would have been really great if they were named spiral but no konami being stupid with uh archetype design is really really obnoxious so Spirals are a deck that are focused on disrupting your opponent's play style and like just disrupting your opponent in general. And also, basically, as I said earlier, looking at your opponent's the top card of your opponent's deck, <coughs> which is really, really, really useful, not just for the archetype's own cards, because a lot of them say, oh, hey, call, call a card like Monster Spell Trap. If it's the next card on your opponent's deck, do something. Uh, but however, not only does that help with that, but however, it also helps with the sheer fact that, uh, you know what your opponent's playing, you know what they're, what's coming up and everything, and can really screw them over and play effectively to get around that. So, Spirals have 16 cards to them, and sadly enough, like, only half are really all that great. <laughs> so, uh, let's get on with the actual archetype analysis before I babble on for so long. So, first and foremost, the Spiral Sleeper, the boss monster to deck, technically speaking. Uh, he's a level 8, 2800 attack, Fiend Light, 1200 defense, and he cannot be normal summoned or set, must be spell summoned from your hand by banishing 3 Spiral cards from your graveyard, and cannot be spell summoned by other ways. Once per turn, during your first turn, you can target 1 Spiral card you control, and up to 2 cards your opponent controls, destroy them. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, destroy as many cards you control as possible, and if you do, spell summon one spiral super agent from your hand deck or graveyard. So, Sleeper is a pretty good monster for the fact that he can just completely annihilate any two cards your opponent controls once a turn by popping a card you control. That is really, really good. Now, the sad thing is that this guy... He nukes your board <laughs> if he dies, and then summons a super agent from your hand, deck, or grave. Which isn't that bad, okay? Don't get me wrong. The summoning a monster is not bad. But nuking your whole board to do it is stupid. I don't get why that's the case. I guess it's supposed to be like a self-destruct system or something. Like I know that this is all based on James Bond and everything, but I really can't figure out why that would be all that great. Now, granted, one of the spiral cards can prevent destruction, so I guess, like, you can use that to save your stuff, but you still got to destroy, uh, I believe at least one card, because it says, and it's destroy as many cards you control as possible, and if you do, I don't know. I don't know if you actually have to destroy anything, but, like, that's the thing. Now, because he's going to get referenced a lot, let's bring up Spiral Super Agent. He's kind of like the ace monster. If Spiral Super Sleeper is the boss monster, he's the ace uh, he's a Warrior Earth, 1900 attack, 1200 defense, uh, level 4, so he's searchable by Rhoda. If this card is in your hand, you can declare one card type, Monster Spell or Trap. Reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, and if you do, special summon this card, if it is a card of that type. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Spiral card, you can target one Spiral Trap card your opponent controls. Destroy it. You can only use each effect of Spiral Super Agent once per turn. So, not only can you just special summon him by guessing the right uh, card type that's on your opponent's top deck, but, however, if he is special summoned by the effect of a spiral card, you can just pop any spell or trap card on the field. Uh, actually, sorry, your opponent controls. So, that is pretty good because he's an MST, he, well, he's a walking MST, and, of course, also you get information on what your opponent's top deck is, which is pretty nice. Not to mention he's 1900, and he's a warrior, which means there's a lot of support for warriors out there, and 1900 is nothing too shabby for a level 4, so he can get over a lot of things in the game that uh, aren't like super big boss monsters. Now then, next up for everything else, Spiral Master Plan, level 7, Spellcaster Dark, uh, 1200 attack, 2800 defense. Once per turn, you can add one spiral card, uh, one, yeah, one spiral mission card from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one spiral resort and one spiral monster from your deck to your hand. Except spiral master plan, you can only use this effect of master plan once per turn. So, master plan is a pretty good card. My biggest issue with her 
is the fact that she does she has no way of special summoning herself. You either have to get her in a graveyard so you can bring her back with call it a haunted or spiral re uh, gear big red, which we'll get to in a little bit. Or you have to find some way of special summoning her from the hand. Now, uh, you can use stuff like Dark Magic Veil, which I actually completely forgot to bring up. Uh, Dark Magic Veil. Like, there it is. Uh, pay a thousand life points special on a Dark Spellcaster from your hand or grave. That card is really good for Master Plan because, well, she's a Dark Spellcaster. Not to mention the deck does have another Dark Spellcaster. So it has multi-purpose utility in the deck. And can really, really help out with getting Master Plan because Master Plan gets you your Spiral Missions, which are really, really, well, generally really good uh, spells and traps that can help support uh, the deck and everything. So, really, in all honesty, <laughs> uh, whether or not you play her is completely down to you. I know uh, most people haven't been, but I still recommend maybe playing one, especially if you're going to play Spy Gal Misty, uh, because then you can play Dark Magic Veil vale and just do combos and stuff with that. Next up, we got Spiral Tough. He's a level 4, 1900 attack, 1500 defense. He's a wind and he's a warrior. Really good card overall with the stat line and everything. He's kind of like a mirror of Super Agent, which makes sense because this card's name becomes Super Agent while it is on a field or in a graveyard. Uh, once per turn, you can declare one card type, monster spell or trap card, and target one card your opponent controls. Reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, and if you do, destroy the targeted card if the revealed card is the declared type. So, obviously, he's supposed to count as Super Agent, which is really nice because a lot of this deck supports Super Agent. And, obviously, also, whereas Super Agent destroys spells and traps, he destroys anything. <laughs> but, uh, obviously, you can mostly get rid of monsters, which is really, really nice. My biggest issue with Tough is that he, has, he doesn't have the inherent summoning thing like Super Agent. But, however, he's still a pretty good card overall, uh, mostly for the fact that he kind of just really mirrors Super Agent, and with Super Agent and Tough, you can get rid of a card every turn, pretty much, especially if you have ways of getting Super Agent back to hand. Uh, speaking of that, I'm just kind of like rolling right into the next one. Spygal Misty, level 4, Spellcaster, Dark, uh, 1500 attack, 1600 defense. If this card is normal or special summon, you can declare one card type, Monster Spell or Trap card. Reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, and if you do, draw one card, if it is the card of that type. <coughs> Once per turn, in your first turn, you can target one Spiral Super Agent you control and one monster your opponent controls. Return both monsters to the hand. So, ever since Konami noticed that everybody was playing Kirin, they started making Kirins for other decks. And this card is no exception. It's really good. Granted, you can only target your, uh, your Super Agents. But, however, it's still pretty good because then you can get Super Agent back in hand. So you can pop a card next turn, and like your opponent just loses a monster. My biggest issue with this card, and everybody knows what's the biggest issue with this card, because this card would have been amazing and would have made the deck easily, 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 really, really good if just one thing was changed. Why the hell is she called Spy Gal and not Spy Roll? One freaking letter is making this card un like borderline unplayable for the deck. And that is so obnoxious, because you can't search her with the Spiral search cards. She gets no benefit from the Spiral uh, support. She has no, she, she doesn't get any benefits whatsoever from the deck. She has no synergy with the deck other than bouncing back uh, Spiral Super Agent and having a similar effect. Mo oh, all oh, because of one letter. One letter. Okay, I get it, Konami, you want to do your puns and everything. But Konami, if you're going to do your puns, be smart about it and include it in a freaking text or something somewhere that says, this card is always treated as a Spiral card. That would have been so much better, but no. Uh, this this angers me so much. Misty would have been such a great card for the deck if just one letter was changed. Now, granted, I personally still play two in the deck, mostly because she is a Kieran and she is a free draw, basically, especially if you know what your opponent's playing. Uh, so, really, honestly, it's down to you if you want to play her or not, like, in terms of your builds and stuff. I don't know if anybody is really, like, focusing on her or anything, but personally, I play two of her. Uh, next up, we get to one of the new cards, Spiral Gear Last Resort. It's a machine, earth, level 4, 1000, 1000. Uh, you can target one spiral monster you control, equip this card from your hand or field to that target. While this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Once per turn, if this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, you can send one other card you control to the graveyard. Uh, the equipped monster can attack directly this turn. That is really, really good. Uh, it can be incredibly scary. Especially if you have this card equipped onto something like Spiral Sleeper while Spiral Resort is out. That can get deadly. Like, that can get really, really deadly. And actually, since I brought it up, let's go ahead and cover Spiral Resort. 
Uh, spiral Resort is a field spell. Your opponent cannot target other spiral cards in control of card effects. Once per turn, you can add one spiral monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, during your end phase, shuffle one monster from your graveyard into the deck or destroy this card. So the reason why that can be really deadly when using with Last Resort is because your opponent can't target Last Resort with anything. So while it's equipped onto a monster, that monster can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects or by battle. <laughs> and your opponent can't get rid of Last Resort because they can't target it with like Twin Twist or MST or anything because they got to get rid of Resort first. That is really, really, really good. And just overall, this card is amazing. Like, it honestly probably is easily a free of <laughs> in the deck. Next up, we got the Waifu of the deck, Charming Resort Staff. Although, I guess some people uh, are into Misty. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we got Miss Brunette over here, Charming Resort Staff. Level 3, Light Fairy, 200 defense, 300 attack. I don't know why I did defense first. Um... Uh, so, first of all, let me just say that this card suffers Misty Syndrome and that it would have been amazing if it had Spiral somewhere in the name or if it had a, like, text in it that said this card is always treated as a Spiral card, something like that, but no. So, when an attack is declared involving a Spiral Super Agent you control and an opponent's face-up monster, you can change the attack of the opponent's monster to zero. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can spell someone one Spiral Super Agent from your deck. If a Spiral Super Agent you control is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, return one Spiral Super Agent from your graveyard to your hand. Wow, this is one clingy girlfriend. <laughs> so, not only does she make it to where whenever Super Agent battles an opponent's monster, you can drop that monster to zero. But, however, if she dies, you can summon Super Agent from deck. Now, because she's not a Spiral card, Super Agent won't get to pop a card, which really is obnoxious. But, however, also, if she's in the graveyard... You can banish, uh, and like a super agent dies, you can banish her to add back super agent from your grave to your hand. This card is pretty good, but I only recommend playing it if you're going to play the Brilliant Fusion build. Uh, if only because she's a light target and you can get her in a graveyard for Brilliant Fusion. But however, also because, well, then you can get an extra normal summon and summon her. And then like possibly, like I don't know, if you have multiples in your hand, you can make like a rank 3 or something. In general, I just don't recommend playing her unless you're playing the Brilliant Fusion build, uh, which is something I'm going to be testing here shortly. Uh, she's pretty good overall. I just wish she was a Spiral card. <laughs> she would have been so much better. Also, I freaking love the artwork because Super Agent's in the back and he looks bored as hell while stuck at the cafe. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Spiral Quick Fix. Honestly, one of the best cards in the deck. Level 1, 500 attack, 400 defense, Machine Earth. Uh, if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Spiral Gear card from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard and control a Super Agent, you can discard one card, special and discard, but banish it when it leaves the field. So, firstly, let me just say, neither of this card's effects are once per turn, and because he's a machine... And he has 500 attack, you can machine dupe him, which means you can normal summon him, get the search, and then use machine dupe, special summon two more from deck, get this, get two more searches, and then you can go into an, uh, an Xyz or something, and then, it, it just is really, really stupid. Uh, and then, like, this guy has a self-reviving effect, granted you gotta discard one card, but... And, and also, he goes away after uh, he leaves the field. But that won't matter, because you'll just overlay, and then OA oh, goes back to grave. This card is really, really, really good overall. And is absolutely amazing. It can search one, uh, two, three, four, I think just four, five, five cards. He can search five cards. <laughs> that is really, really good. So, he can search five cards for the deck. And just, he's a, anytime he's normal or special summon, he's a freaking really, 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 really good uh, card for the deck. And I absolutely recommend playing three. You shouldn't be playing any more than, you shouldn't be playing any less than three. <laughs> is what I was trying to say. Next up, we got Spiral Gear Drone. Uh, Machine Wind, level one, 100 attack, 100 defense. If this card is normal or special summon, you can look at, at the top three cards of your opponent's deck. And if you do, place them on, uh, whoops, on top of their deck in any order. Knowing your player's turn, you can tribute, discard, and target one spiral monster you control. It gains 500 attack for each card your opponent controls. You can banish this card and one spiral card from your graveyard and target one super agent uh, in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. So, uh, firstly, let me just say, same thing as Quick Fix. He's a level 1, he has 100 attack, so he, and he's a machine, so he can be machine duped and everything, which is really, really great. Uh, but also, it gives you the information on your opponent's deck and everything. <laughs> which is really great and then heck you can even stack your opponent's deck and screw them over so like oh hey they're gonna draw into like pendulum call next turn okay i'll just make it so you draw mst instead <laughs> uh really 
Really great card. I've never actually had to use the effect engraved, just like banish it and another spiral card to add back Super Agent, but that's still pretty good. Uh, also, the 500 attack boost is like your main way of winning the game, <laughs> okay? Because uh, you like use that on like Super Agent or something, and then, oh hey, he gains like 5,000 attack, attack directly for game, stuff like that. It, it's just really, really great card overall. Now then on to the spells, they have four spells. Uh, first up is Spiral Mission Assault. Uh, spell continuous, destroy this card during your third end phase after activation. Once per turn, if a spiral monster you control destroys a monster by battle, or if you can, or if you destroy a card or cards on the field of a spiral card, a monster's effect you control, you can draw one card. You can banish this card from your graveyard, spell summon a spiral monster from your hand. So, this card is really great because anytime in one of your spirals destroys a card by battle or effect or whatever, you get to draw one card. Granted, it's only once a turn, but however, it's once a turn and your first turn. So, like, you can use it, you draw a card, and then, oh, hey, your opponent, like, attacks, you use, like, I don't know, uh, drones effect, ditch him, make a uh, super agent, like, go up, attack, uh, then, you know, damage calc, everything. And then, hey, you get to draw another card. Now, the really nice thing is that it's not a hard once per turn. So, if you have multiple assaults out, you get to draw up to, like, three cards every time you pop something. It's stupid. I love this card a lot. Uh, I know not a lot of people like to play the missions, but I really do like assault, mostly for the draw power. It can get really, really stupid whenever you draw, like, two to three cards in one turn. It's a really, really great card. Next up, Spiral Gear, Big Red, uh, Equip Spell. Oh boy, activate this card by targeting one Spiral Monster in Graveyard Spell, so summon it, and if you do equip this card to it, it cannot be destroyed by battle, you can only activate one Spiral Gear, Big Red, once per turn. Uh, so this card is freaking amazing, it's a call dot, well no, it's a freaking a premature burial for the archetype, and is really great. It gives the monster protection from battle, and can just be really, really, really scary, uh, because it can just bring back anything, and then like, oh hey, you get to combo, you get to just be able to run over stuff, and you can, like, if you summon back, uh, super agent you'll get to pop a spell or trap card and you can you get in you can run into like 1900 beaters and not have to worry about super agent dying which is great and of course if uh you have spiral resort out it's protected it's <laughs> so really nice next up we got another one of the new cards spiral gear fully armed uh if you actually pay attention in the artwork you can see that this weapon is on spiral sleeper and you can see spiral sleeper in the background uh, leading to a lot of like theory crafting is what the lore is behind this deck. Uh, I'm curious. I want like a spiral movie. Konami, please. Let's do that. Please. It'll be the first time I actually want to go see a James Bond-esque film. Uh, so this is an equip card uh, like Big Red. Equip only to a spiral super agent. So unlike Big Red, it has to go into super agent. It gains 1,000 attack. If it destroys your opponent's monster by battle, you can banish both that opponent's monster and one other card your opponent controls. When this face-up card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one super agent in your graveyard, special summon it. So, this card is freaking amazing. You, you give it to your super agent, he goes up to a, to a 5,000, so, like, usually 2,900, so you can run over most anything. And then, uh... Whenever he runs over something in battle, you can banish that monster that you just ran over and one other card your opponent controls. That is so incredibly good. And then it's a freaking monster reborn if it dies. <laughs> I love this card so much. It's really, really, really good. And it, it just... That, that's all you really gotta say. It's a really good card. I think it's a definite three of in the deck. Uh, the fact that you can search it off a quick fix and obviously Super Agent's not hard to get to your hand. This card is just... Stupid good. Uh, also, is it just me or does it kind of look like a dull disc? <laughs> uh, now then for the traps, they have three of them. Spiral Gear, Utility Wire. If you control a Super Agent, target one face-up card your opponent controls. Place it on top of the deck. You can only activate one Utility Wire once per turn. Uh, arguably, this is the best trap card in the archetype. And yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, being able to just spin back anything your opponent controls, provided you have Super Agent, is really, really good. Now, my biggest issue with this card... Is you have to control Super Agent. It can't just be any Spiral. You have to control Super Agent. Which means it might have issues with uh, activating. Uh, you might have issues of activating it. Granted though, you should always be able to get to Super Agent super quick. So, you shouldn't have that big of an issue getting to it. Uh, <laughs> uh, that being said though, it is still a really good card. I think it's definitely a 2 of. Maybe a 3 of. Maybe the third one inside. I don't know. This card's pretty good overall though. Next up, we got Spiral Mission Rescue. This is one of the new cards as well, along with Sleeper, Super, uh, Resort, and of course, Fully Armed. Uh, so, Continuous Trap. Destroy this card during your third end phase after activation. Once per turn, you can target one Spiral Monster in your graveyard, return it to the hand. 
You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one spiral monster in your graveyard to special summon it. You only use you can only control one spiral mission rescue. So uh, it's recursion. That's literally what it is, and it's a really good recursion. Just once per turn, you can get a spiral monster in your graveyard back to your hand, and then obviously if it's in the grave, you can banish it, spell some spiral from your grave. Really good card overall. It kind of conflicts with Resort though, because Resort has to shuffle all of your spirals back into the deck and everything. Uh, but Rescue can still get them back to the hand, and generally you want them back in the hand more than in the uh, back in the deck because then well you can get like your Super Agent and stuff back to your hand. Overall, I think this card is really good, but I feel like it's probably a two of at most, mostly because it just really conflicts with Resort, and you're gonna have Resort out more than you're gonna see this, so. It can get a bit uh, conflicting with the deck and everything. Then we got Spiral Mission Recapture. This card is intriguing. <laughs> it's a continuous trap. Destroy this card during your third end phase after activation. Once per turn, if a Spiral Monster is spelled summoned to your field, you can target one monster your opponent controls to take control of it until the end phase, but it cannot attack directly this turn. If a Spiral Monster or monsters you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead of destroying one of those Spiral cards. Uh, monsters. So... It's basically kind of like a snatch deal. Uh, once per turn, if one of your spirals is special summon, and if you have multiples out, you can take multiple monsters. That sounds good on paper. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. This card, uh, I, I've never had a situation where it's helped me. Like, how do I put... Like, I, uh, I've tested this card out a lot in spirals, and it's never came up to where, oh, hey, this card has won me the game. Or this card has really been that really useful to the point where I absolutely need to play it. If you're going to play this card, you should really be playing Full Sparrow of Goods so that you can get it in your graveyard. So you can use the Protection Effect. Because the Protection Effect is really, really good and is really nice. Granted, it only protects one of your monsters. Even if you have multiple out and your opponent dark holes you, it only protects one, not all, which is obnoxious. But still, this card has its merits and I can see why some people would play it. If you're going to play it at all, play it as a one-of or something. I really don't see this card being all that great. I've tried it out a lot. It just hasn't been all that useful. <laughs> so, overall with Spirals, Spirals have a lot of potential. They really do. And, heck, they really could have been a really, really great deck for, heck, even this format, really. But they're two of their really great monsters, Charming Resort, Staff, and Spygal Misty, not being named Spiral really hinders the deck. Not only that, but also some other poor design choices in regards to some cards like Sleeper and Recapture. Uh, and also just Master Plan as well. Uh, just because of certain things with the cards. Like, you know, like with Sleeper, nuking your home field, summon out a freaking super agent. Uh, it just really could have been better. And I feel like Konami could have done this deck a bit better. <clears throat> now, what does this deck need? Honestly, I think it needs an archetypal Convulsions of Nature. Okay, so Convulsions of Nature is a card that a lot of people play, or at least I think a lot of people play. I, I personally play it. If I can pull it up. Conv I can't spell Convulsion. <laughs> there it is. Convulsions of Nature. As long as it's out on the field, both players play with their deck upside down. So, like, you take your deck and you, like, play it with the bottom card face up so that you always know what your opponent's drawing and they always know what you're drawing so then you always know what's on top of your opponent's deck so then you're always pretty much going to get super agent tough uh and spy out misty's effects off granted convulsions of nature is a non-searchable continuous spell card so i really feel like that uh if spirals had their own version of this card that would really help out also really in all honesty if they got a retrain of misty and charming resort staff that had basically the same effects but had spiral in the name that'd be great i feel like they could do with one more trap that's like disruptive like something like utility wire but like bounces back to hand or something uh i don't know that'd be really great uh overall i, I really don't know what to do with this deck because konami like really seriously screwed it up <laughs> they, they uh they, it seems like they wanted to take it in one direction they went another direction they went another direction uh, and actually, they did the same thing with Subterror, and it's just really confusing. And that's why I kind of think that uh, Convulsions of Nature, an archetypal version of that, would really help out. Uh, I'm at a loss for words, though. Like, really, honestly, I feel like this deck is fine as is. It's a fine tier, like, two or three deck to play. Uh, but really, in all honesty, I don't know what Konami can add to salvage it. <laughs> I feel like maybe another search card could really do, because they only really got Resort and Master Plan, and not many people play Master Plan. 
I mean, yeah, Quick Fix searches out the gears, but they don't really have any ways to search out the monsters other than Master Plan and Resort. So I feel like another search card could help out a lot, now that I think about it. So guys, what are your guys' thoughts on Spirals? What do you think they could use to really help out the deck? Do you think that they just need a name change for Spiral Spy Gal Misty and Charming Resort Staff? Do you think they need an Archetypal Convulsions of Nature? What do you guys think? I would love to hear your guys' comments and recommendations for what this archetype might need. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> really, in all honesty, I'm thinking maybe another search card. Uh, but however, anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. See you all later. Peace out and goodbye. Oh, and by the way, check out my Discord down below. It's a, There's a link to it, an invite, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you guys want to check out Discord and everything. Uh, and, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.